Hello, my name is Leo. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm Leo's student. Uh, today we're just warming up. Um, you want to introduce our tool and what we're doing? Uh, yeah, we're using the little um, refillable plug calligraphy pen and uh, we're doing the Croquis Cafe. They have a few quick practices, one minute, two minutes, and five minutes. Yep, let's go get it started. Yes. Uh, we just want to um, bring you in into our uh, daily routine yes. warming up. It's really fun to do it together. So right now we have a two minute pose, but then what's nice about Croquis Cafe is, you know, we could we could freeze it. So we can we take our time and enjoy the model. And they have a great database of uh, a variety of model shapes and sizes. Yeah, they sizes. they have the photo and then they have the video and <laughs> they have this special set of photo. They just spin people around three hits, three sixty degrees, so you can really study them, their body composures really well. Mm -hmm. So we always warm up. Um, I mean, this is good practice because we can kind of see how we are uh, like calibrating on paper before we get to our painting because we can get all the unsure marks out. By the time we're done warming up, then uh, when we get to the painting, it's, uh, all of our uh, brush strokes become more intentional and sharp. So that's the reason we usually warm up there's other reasons but that's one of them what do you think linda yeah it's a very automatic and fast process take a snapshot and then let me see where my energy is for this um human body and usually because human body is very instinctual it boosts the understanding of the environment and how to make take it down into the canvas really well I think I've been progressing really fast and stable with this kind of technique since the beginning of um, class with Leo together, which is about two years ago. <laughs> yeah, time goes. Yeah. Even now, I feel kind of, my strokes feel kind of clunky. I think. Clunky? <laughs> yeah. So when, when I feel thoroughly warmed up, my the drawing has like this uh, overall flow. It's more smooth. Yeah, right? no, I'm just uh, smooth pen. Both smooth smoothness and energy. Yeah. So if you practice enough, you get to you get to see. I guess everything on paper, how you feel, how off you are. <laughs> Especially yeah. how like the situation in life, it could reflect on the roughness of the lines and stuff in the paper too when mm. it comes to this quick practices yeah, it's hard to get the emotions out of the each stroke so it's in you it's in there it's in your mind travels down all those nerves and then to your fingers <laughs> it's pretty weird so i really like the ink pen because you see everything and it flows really nicely and the, the line variety line variety is beautiful a little bit of pressure gets it so thick so little delicate lines gets very thin um, you can i guess the, the the pressure is more substantial in the mark making with ink what do you think Linda? Yeah, and it's not something you can really get out with any other mediums. I used to think the brushes are really, really versatile, but because the brush involves so much different things, it's very difficult to focus only on the texture and then the energy of the line. And then that goes back to how this kind of practice makes, makes it really intuitive and then it's like you can easier for you to map out everything in one breath when it comes to, say, plein air painting outside of the room. Yeah, so Linda's bringing uh, the idea of how these practices are useful and when he goes out to paint 
uh, live in the uh, um, in the open air. That's what plain air is. And Lunge is always, uh, not always, he's usually, you can usually find him in La Jolla. If you see a golden eagle out there, he's, he's out there finding the ways. Yes, uh, usually in La Jolla Cove or La Jolla Tide Pool, they're pretty close to each other. Yeah, let's move on. Oof. Yours feels a lot more smooth than mine. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, after a few layers, the first few marks were really off. I'm going to show you a drawing real quick. So, you know, they, they gradually get better. And when they get better, that's when we know we're warmed up. In Cookie's Cafe, they have one, two mi one minute poses, two minute poses, and five minute poses, typically. And then those are sufficient in testing, well, getting your warm, getting you warmed up, but testing your speed and your accuracy. So it's so it is calibration. It's it's a form of calibration to your, to your hand. And you know, if the pose is really short, I think. Sometimes it's good just to try and get the essence of the pose or the energy. Yeah. And that's where So it has gesture. some level of abstraction in it too. Mm -hmm. And that's that's where gesture uh, drawing um, becomes a good, good thing to do. So you can kind of switch styles and switch the intention of what you're trying to record. And also because it's a if it's a shorter pose, sometimes even the speed lends you energy, right? Yeah. Especially if I speed. think that's one of the ultimate thing that people have to go through. The speed and then the energy that comes with it because it's it's one of the it, I think it's the most potent thing that you can require yourself to do. I guess to get through the uh, you know, the correct understanding at the very fast pace. I guess the speed also kind of maybe shows life, I guess. That's what's attractive about it. <laughs> it's just a uh, raw energy, right? Yes. That's what life is. As opposed to something very well rendered and it might look masterful, but then it might be missing a lot of Feeling. Energy, feeling, yeah. You gotta balance both, always. Her boots are really high. High? Yeah, but like. Because yeah, her arms are pulled out. No, I mean, it's like a heel. Oh, I haven't finished it. <laughs> oh, I thought you said boobs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ooh, okay. There you go. This one's rough, but loose. Like, it, it, I think it has more of a flow because uh, the speed and the speed. And because it's loose, uh, as a gesture drawing, there's less of a it's like uh, uh, perfectionist tendency to kind of get the line right at, at, at the first stroke, especially when you're not warmed up enough anyway, so you, so you don't have those wobbly hands. Uh, I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's a little round around thing. So, uh, show, show your drawing to the camera real quick, Lunja. Okay, Lunja's lines are a bit more delicate than mine. Mine are like chubby and a bit like draggy. So it's really cool. We're drawing the same thing, but you can get a lot of different nuances. That's uh, the person inside. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's what's fun about a small group class too. To see all diff how different people carry out the same process in different grounds mm. with their different styles mm, yeah it's not even style yet because usually when people think of style it's just about the painting and then how different planes two-dimensional planes work, be to work with each other but sometimes with lines it has that too mm -hmm. i feel like we've done something similar like really uh, recently do you not want to do this one do you want to do you feel like we, want, we can skip this one yeah let's go ahead that one has a lot of foreshortening this one? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I don't mind. Skip. 
to our warm up. I'm scared, right? Let me zoom in. Alright, looks good. Here, uh... Woo! Uh. So, that's our warm-up for today. Yep. Um, keep practicing. You want to talk about your the tools you're using? Yeah, I like this German stick. Everybody's using it in, like, whatever um, illustration. I used to think they were super heavy and it's metal, so I didn't really want to buy it for a really long time. But I got the lead holder. I'm just really tired of like actually <laughs> peeling the pants pencil all the time. And this one is actually like I think you can get like two lead lead like this for um, about two dollars, and then they usually are a lot longer, and then they last you forever. It's like one lead lasts you for like more than like five pencils or something and then you don't ever have to peel them and you can start to draw these wherever you want so it's like really a good thing i'm still obsessed with it <laughs> oh, thank you. Wait, yeah. sorry. so one just developed his tones nicely uh, in a way that you can kind of just keep building up on the different uh, tonal shapes and then if he wanted he can render the smaller shapes make it look more complete but even if he doesn't it looks like a really great sketch already because you can kind of see the direction it's going uh, I think that's why this style is much more efficient because it already feels good yeah as you're building it up yeah it's like you're doing a like a simulated painting with uh, like a, a lot of finer brushes and you can have really really fine lines by like going against the surface in a, a vertical way and then you can still use it this way which is really difficult if you only have a pencil because the pencil is really difficult to sharpen it in a very, very um, long way when you have those like really, really long lead exposed. And usually it's very easy to break. And I think the Stettler, Stettler uh, lead, they actually don't really break that like, easily. So easy to look just do this. Mm. Yeah. So we, uh, we draw like how we paint. <laughs> yeah, it's like we, we, essentially uh, the same thing yeah. at this point. Um, all right, so that's our this is our very first video. Thank you for yeah, watching. Thank you. Um, we'll try and uh, do a video for every time we warm up. Yeah. Uh, so keep practicing and stay safe and healthy. Bye. Bye.